What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So let us do some clash detection. Okay, so what we are gonna do, just make sure you have a Revisto Plus license, just like mine, okay? So that you'll be able to use your clash automation. All right, so let's do this. So another prerequisite is that make sure you have search sets because this is what we are going to use on our uh, clash detection. All right, so I have here the Revisto process folder wherein I have here uh, heaps of search sets. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to click here, clash automation. Just click that. Okay, and then the first thing that we'll be doing, we're going to create a new clash test. Okay, so click this icon and then it's like, a versus b okay so let's do some clash detection all right so i'll be selecting category deep space category i'll be looking for ducks all right and then on the right side i'll be doing here like uh the pipes okay so category let's look for the pipes if you don't know how to create search sets, so you can check out my Revisto folder or playlist so that you'll be able to learn it. Okay, so this is the settings. So for this, I'm going to put the name here. So docs versus pipes. So if you'll be working in New Zealand or Australia, so make sure you know how to use Revisto because this is uh one of the primary software that they are using in here in oceania continent all right so here in new zealand and australia all right so you put the name here what's this so two selected search sets are personal and can be seen by you only which is that's okay so all search sets used for clash detection must be located in shared folders okay so if you want to see your clash detection to you by other users, so you can uh, put that to the clash folder. But if you only want to see this uh, search sets by you, so no need to put that to the clash folder. Okay? So there's an option here, fix. So if I'm going to click the fix here, you click that. So this is what will happen. So move selected personal search sets to the shared clash detection folder. Or you can share a parent folder of selected search sets or move selected personal uh, search sets to an existing shared folder or move selected personal search sets to a new shared folder. For that, I'll just select the first option. So I always use this option. So if, if you select here, OK, so you can see it's now inside the clash uh, detection okay right so let's select here done and then let's specify here the ignore clashes option so for this i just use the uh default settings so if you want to ignore objects that are in the same uh, search set you can click that button and then you can select from here but for this one i don't select this or I don't change the ignore clashes here. So I just use the default settings. So I'll just select here next. Okay, here this is very important. So you need to select what type of clashing that you want. Okay, so you have hard clash, clearance. So this is hard clash. Choose what to clash. So it, it ele uh, it's elements. Okay, so that's how it works. So clearance, so you need to put a clearance here in meters. Just make sure this is in meters. So if you want to put 1,000 or let's say uh, 5 ml or 25 ml, so make sure you put 0 0.025, okay, for 25 ml clearance, okay. So another option here is clearance on horizontal and vertical. Okay, so there's the preview. So you have the horizontal and then you have the vertical. And then you also have your tolerance. So what we're going to be the tolerance. Again, you can put here 
and then tolerance uh, horizontal vertical so you have that option directly above so you also have that option so you can specify here the clashing surfaces and then directly below all right now for this one i'll just use a hard clash here okay in your building execution plan so make sure you check the clash settings there okay because in some company they put a tolerance or a clearance okay but for this exercise i'll just select hard clash just select your next okay so for the grouping all right so i'm going to add the group here i want that to be grouped by level okay so edit the project levels here because it's not configured so i'll just select edit projected levels i'll just select here the project there you go so this is the preview so i'll just select here okay so that's the level so another here is uh, grid intersection so i don't have grid okay i'll just select this one 22 grids and then okay so i'm going to select here okay i think this is the settings that i would like i just want the proximity here at the last okay right okay so as you can see here's the clash group name level and grid and then the clash name element a versus element b automatically created by the revisto okay so then select next all right so for this one i'm not going to do some stamp here priority deadline whatever okay so we can do this later on so I don't want to automate yet. So I'll just select here, finish. And there you go. So I now have here a clash test. Now the next thing that you need to do, you need to run the clash. Okay, so after you create the uh, clash test, you need to run it. So that's why there's an option here. You click that. So there's the clash, run clash detection. So you click that. There you go, it's being run. Okay, so I have here 35 new clashes and then it is grouped into 17 groups. Okay, just select your OK. So I'm going to close here the search sets. Okay, and then you can adjust this window here just to see what are these options that we have here. Okay, so this is clash detect, uh, clash detection stat, uh, status. So as you can see, it's already checked okay so the next is the issue tracker sync so as you can see it's not yet sync but our clash detection is already checked so if this clash test is already sync with the issue tracker you will see here a green check but right now it's not okay so this is the number of clashes that we have so we have 35 and then we have 17 groups clashing so we have resolved new issues whatever whatever blah 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 okay so right now as you can see we are on the view mode so if you want to modify the settings that we have here make sure you check out okay you click check out once you click that you will now be able to modify here the settings that you have done earlier okay now the next thing that you can do here is you can uh, double click your clash test to see the clashes just double click that and then you will now be able to see here the uh, groups okay so this is our if you click this one you, ex you can expand that so you can see here the clashes okay you can click that and then you can see here there you go okay so there's my clash there all right so this is how you create a clash test now for our next video i'm going to show you how to uh, change the status of this uh, clashes that we have here and then how to assign that to another person and how to synchronize that to our issue tracker okay so that's it for this simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day